Hello, hello, and welcome back to Grand Theft Auto 5. And we pick up the story where we left off in the last episode, and we have been asked to retrieve a, another car for Devon. I think it's Devon or Devlin. Uh, so we're going to go to our usual meeting point at the oil fields, which is also where the cab company or the scrap company is around here somewhere. There's a little warren of places here. But we're going to get here and hopefully find out what this car is that we are tracking down. And hopefully it's not too difficult to acquire like the last two were quite easy. So it looks like we're waiting for nightfall and oh dear. Stand where I can see you. All right, you got me, homie. All right. You know how to work that face recognition shit already? Well, figure it out. Okay, booting up. You can use the stick to move the camera. Zoom in and out. It'll pick up pedestrians carrying the 2012 SA state license. If you target them, the scanner accesses the database and pulls their record. We have So switching to Trevor, we have access to the LA LSPD FLIR system. So we are going to look for the driver of the vehicle it would appear and hopefully he will lead us to this elusive car and we can then take it from him. So let's zoom in on Franklin here and see what outstanding warrants he might have. So we have a general direction in which to head and we are going to start scanning random citizens in Los Santos and hopefully find the guy we are looking for and we'll maybe solve a few other outstanding crimes along the way. So unfortunately the police helicopter pilot is in no real hurry. Uh, if Trevor was flying, we'd be there already. But we'd also be landing in a ball of flames, probably. So, we have three targets in this area. Uh, one of them is down on the ground. The other two look like they're in an apartment complex somewhere. So, we're going to zoom in on these guys and scan each and every one of them. And see which one is the person of interest we are currently interested in l locating and following. So our target was not amongst that small group of people, but we now have a few more targets to check out. So let's check out this lot over here first. So all we've got to do now is stay hovering up here in silent running mode 
and follow our target and hopefully he will lead us to the car in question now I do know from playing this before we do lose the target at some point but if I remember correctly uh, he is on a very sort of straight path there's only one way he can go so this is where we lose him so all we've got to do is move to the other end of the building and he should re-emerge somewhere by the trees here there we are so crisis averted and we're just gonna keep following this guy until he gets down to the ground floor which is the last flight of stairs he's heading down now and just off to the left of the cursor there is a garage and our target here will go into that garage unless Clinton or Franklin should I say stops him first hey motherfucker oh shit shit oh fuck Franklin, you had one job and that was to steal this car. Luckily, we have eyes in the sky, so we're just gonna follow this guy and direct Franklin towards him. That was Franklin in the red car completely missing his tur turning. So the target has gone into a high-rise car park. It's a good way to hide actually. Multiple exits. Uh, he can abandon the car and walk out if he so wished. Uh, it would take us a while to find it. It's actually going to take us a while to find it anyway. Right, I think it's time for us to access and activate the FLIR system. Which, for those of you not in the know, is the thermal imaging camera. Because we're not going to see very much peering in through from the outside so hopefully Franklin is inside somewhere we're gonna access Fleur that is Franklin standing just to our right there that's Franklin give us a wave Franklin right so there's a couple of people in cars in the area there's Franklin waving bit late than never so we're gonna focus on a couple of the people we'll move over to this guy first who's sitting in a car which is a bit of a giveaway as we're looking for someone in a car possibly right so wasn't him let's try this guy who I don't want to even guess at what he's actually doing Oh, so two down let's try this guy leaning over the edge hopefully not being very sick although it actually looks like he might be cleaning a car of some sort strange place and time to be doing that but never mind each to their own right so that's three people checked no, we've already checked him anyone else there must be somebody else in here so let's give ourselves a nice wide view we've already checked him ah so we have two more people over here yeah he's looking a bit too nonchalant if you ask me I reckon this might be our man come on Franklin get over there there he goes well done right so from the process of elimination this must be our guy so we have finally tracked down this elusive vehicle and quite a nice vehicle it is too let's try not to damage it too much and we're going to report back in to Devon's Mr. assistant. Mr. Clinton. Hey, Molly, right? I got that car for y'all. The Z-Type? Mr. Weston will be glad you caught us. He wanted to see it before we took off. 
We are on the way to his personal hangar at Los Santos International. I'll tell them to expect you at the gate. All right. Hey, I'm delivering a ride to Los Santos International. So, once we finally find our way out of the car park, we're going to make our way over to Devon, Devlin or Devon Weston. And he is located at the airport here. And we can hand over the third of, I believe, five hey, cars that he Weston wants. E. Mr. Weston's hangar is up there on the left. So we're going to deliver the car to Devlin Weston. And we're going to do it in a bit of style. How's that? Oh, there she is. <laughs> You know, if this beauty was a woman, I'd have to break my 20 and under rule. Man, I just stick to driving, all right? <laughs> hey, tell me something. You know how many of these things they made? Uh, shit, like 10? No, not like 10, man. Exactly 10. <laughs> oh, wow, man. You one of them type of dudes, huh? Tell you something. How'd you like to drive a car like this one day, man? For real. Like this? Or this? Oh, man, right back at me, homie. Really nice. Hey, you know something? You're not like those uh, snowbird retiree pals of yours. You are sharp, man. Man, I'm just looking for a paycheck for my services. No, no, don't worry. It'll come. That'll come. But right now, it is life lesson time, pal. You have got to wake up to what's real in this situation, bro. Take me, right? I am opportunity. I'm security. I'm fast cars, blow jobs. I got the world on a plate. Those two clowns, oh man, they are the worst kind of disaster that can ever come down. They are a full core meltdown, and you're just standing there soaking up major radiation. You have got to take stock, man. Make that call before it's too late. Yeah, all right, man. I will. Before it's too late, man. Yeah, uh, yeah. Just take any car and go! Oh, so we get a free car out of the deal. Unfortunately, they're all pretty mundane. So we'll take the black one, as the silver one doesn't look quite as nice. This one looks pretty snazzy. So all that's left for us to do is to leave the airport and leave some rubber behind along the way so which way was the way out i think it's straight down here we're gonna have to stop and let the barrier up normally i don't do that thank you see you again so there we go one more mission taken care of and that is our third car now collected i believe as i've said uh, there are two more to collect and we'll surely get round to them at some point but we are going to leave the story there for now and we will pick it up again in the next episode i have been anubis and i will see you all in the next video